Collective reading, collective reading, period. At the moment, I'm not sure what the message is going to be yet, but this is one of those days where it's like, you just need a reading. You just need a reading. This is, it is one of them days that a girl goes through and it's time. I want to be very transparent with y'all, you know, because I don't want anybody to think that like I'm a robot or anything like that because I feel like that's what the perception is, you know, a lot of the times. You know, I've had sad days. I've had, you know, depressed days. I've had super broke days. I've had all kind of days, you know, but what keeps me going is, you know, my belief in God, one on one, that's crazy. Um, my belief in God, my belief in my life, my belief in myself, my belief in, you know, that I want to do the best for myself and others, you know, who I love, you know, and I'm being very transparent because over the past like two, three months, I've been going through like a process and that process has hit me really hard in the past two weeks. And um, like I cried so much in this past week, you have no idea. And I know a lot of you are going to be like surprised, like Dante, like that's so crazy, this, that, and the third. But I just want to be transparent. You know, I want to be real. I want to be like, I want to be like real, you know, cause you know, that's what's gonna count at the end of the day. That's what is going to be felt, you know? Um, I made a dumb decision in these past two weeks and I was affected by um, another decision and after I made the decision, it took me like a week and a half to really realize like, oh my God, what the fuck did I do? You know, I was not thinking clearly. I was allowing, you know, another person, another situation to dictate what I was gonna do with myself. And now I'm paying for the consequences. Even now that I'm talking about it so calm, you know, and this is your confirmation because I, I want you to see that transparency. For example, I had a client um, who I spoke to yesterday and she just had chlamydia. And I'm like, girl, I've been there. I've been there, don't worry, girl, you good. That's nothing, that's like having a code. You feel me, period. Um, so I feel like even my, me voicing out this, you know, it'll allow somebody else to see like, no, we are all fucking flawed, but because you are flawed does not mean that you're going to give up on yourself. Does not mean that it is over. You know, we love Glorilla because you know, the sun shines tomorrow at the end of the day. Like, yeah, today might be fucked up, but tomorrow you might wake up, you know, and it might be the best day of your life. You might get the best news of your life tomorrow, you know? And it's just like that. So now to fast forward it for y'all, I'm going through my storm right now. And it's so crazy because I had literally asked the cards what I should do. And the cards were literally like option A is what you want to do. Cause it's just going to allow you to, you know, cut clean. You know, it's going to allow you to be easy. It's going to allow you to be cool. Option B is going to make you struggle. It's going to make you weary. It's going to load up your plate. And it's crazy. I literally ignored the cards. And I was influenced by somebody else. And I'm sitting here every day like, oh my God. Because, you know, I am an overachiever. I do care so much, you know? So standing here, looking back, I'm like, yo, how could I fuck that up? How could I fuck that up? How could I fuck that up? Every day I've been like a zombie, you know? I have to be an alchemist and transmute my energy 
you know, because I need to work. I have things to do. You know, my life is going. But it's like, damn, a part of me feels like dead inside. I literally told that person, like, you know, I don't even want to speak to you for a while. Because I'm like, that's crazy how you influence my decisions so heavy. You know, I cared so much. But, you know, you didn't care about me. And now I'm having to pay for the consequences. It's making me feel so cheated. It's making me feel so like played, you know? But at the end of the day, it's my fault. That's what it's showing, like this tower. And I'm like, I had a realization because I'm like, damn, I'm glad I'm going through this tower. Because I'm like, you imagine if I would have just kept going, I would have not seen all of this. I would have not seen how cluttered it was, how stagnant maybe some of the energy was. And I, I was then seeing this. But I was still trying to be like nice. I was still trying to be, I was still trying to give it like the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, oh my God. The benefit of the doubt. Now I lost my shit. Cause I gave the benefit of the doubt. So I can't give the benefit of the doubt no more. I can't. You know, I'm not saying to like everybody because, you know, you can't be like that either. You can't write everybody off just because you had one bad experience with one person. But with those people, hell yeah. And, you know, it's no hard feelings. I don't care, whatever this, that, and the third. But it's just like, no. Because it's fucking my shit up completely. And now I'm having to pay for the consequences. And the truth of the matter is that I have less, you know, than people even perceive. People see me and like this and think like I have the most supportive parents, the most this, the most that. No, a lot of what I do, I have to do by myself. I have to motivate myself. I believe in God. You know, that's how I'm able to just do so much and be so independent. And that's why I'm telling you, I'm not telling you because I want you to feel bad for me because I'm not the kind of person that sit there and tell people my business unless I want them to know. You know, I want you to receive this as confirmation so you can have another perspective because just because I'm sitting here, you know, looking the way I do, whatever the case may be, does not mean shit. At the end of the day, you know, people are people, but God is good and the sun gonna shine tomorrow and we're gonna get this shit right. And, you know, like I said, I'm still mourning, but the sun is shining and the sun is gonna shine tomorrow and God is here. It will be different if I felt the way I felt and then God didn't show up. But God is like, bitch, I'm here. I'm here. You know, I'm with you. You good. You know, it's going to be okay. You can start over. And I'm like, oh my God, God, I don't want to start over. It's so hard. It's this, it's that, it's the third. But yeah, that's the reality of things. That's the first time that I've ever been that transparent here on this YouTube channel. But I will say we are about a um, hundred, I think, um, subscribers away from hitting 3,000. That is so huge. We're about a thousand watch hours away from being monetized on this channel. That is so huge. Um, I didn't expect it for it to happen this fast. I kind of just wanted to do it to be, you know, more direct with the messages. But now I'm like, wow, that's so crazy. Last year we grew a thousand. This year we grew two thousand. So that means next year it should be like six thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not just gonna be three. It's gonna be six thousand. It's gonna double double. Mhm. Mm Mama need that. Mama need that. So yeah. So it's been a lot of lessons learned. I cried, I cried literally like somebody like killed like my family member. I cried like, oh my God, I cried so much. I cried like, and y'all gonna be like, why Dante, why what happened? But it's just not anything I wanna talk about, you know? I just wanna, you know, hurry up, recuperate, you know, now I have to like redirect, that's so crazy. That's exactly the card that came out. I'm having to go with the flow. I'm having to redirect. And you're a reflection of me. So this is the collective reading, you see? Go with the flow. Go with the flow. 
Right now where you are, things are being destroyed on purpose to propel you forward. And it's like you sad that you having to leave when you're going to be so much better. That's exactly what that was. Five of Cups. Yep. Um, there's a conversation coming up and that's crazy. I just read myself and this was the first card again. You see, y'all are a reflection of me. I would not be reading people that are not a reflection of me. Um, there's the pending conversation that is to be had, my darling. There's the pending conversation that is being had about you, my darling. There's multiple like conversations, some conversation energy. Be careful. Some people have some tricks up their sleeve. You know, they have like some motive here. Just be very careful about what you speak about, about the exchange. You know, be careful about who it is that you like dealing with, my darling. It's crazy. Um, right now, I see you are about to be helped, you know. Half of it is about to be bad, but the other half is going to be, you know, good. It's going to be some good news and it's going to be some bad news, you know, here. But I see you will be helped. I see you will be propelled. I see you will be um, much happier in these next two days. It's just like you need to get to, needed to get some steam off of you. You needed to get some weight off of you. You needed to improvise. You needed to take control. You needed to see it. Um, right now, I see, again, it's very important that you do not engage with any traumatic bonds, no codependencies at all, because it's conflicting you. And I see that's where you are. You like, fuck, you know, I fucked up. Look at all the pieces there scattered. Look at all the pieces there just trashed, you know, look at all the pieces just, you know, out of place. You know, they're making you waste time. You know, it's looking like you should be prioritizing on this one the whole time you needed to focus on what you had. You needed to secure what you had. Thank God there's hope. Thank God there's motherfucking hope within this time. You see? But overall, I see you feeling sad. Like, yeah, there is hope. There is opportunity. There is all of this, you know, on the horizon. But it's like, fuck, I'm going to miss what I had. I'm going to miss what's mine. That's crazy. Um, the next few days are going to be much easier for you. I see the past two weeks have been very stagnant. These next six days, seven days are going to be easy it's, it's gonna be yes 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 in these next week literally i see you about to debut big by the end of this next sunday you're gonna be so fulfilled you're gonna be so happy you see you needed this reading you needed this reading and so did i the majority of these cards are literally cards that i had in my reading that's so crazy i literally just did a full reading on myself because i needed it um Get ready, my darling. Some people are going to be very shocked at your energy, very shocked at how fast you bounce back, how fast you dominate this energy, how fast you take control of this energy. You know, time is so, like, before, time was real. Time is not even real now. Three days feel like three weeks. In the, one day feel like three days. You'd be like, what the fuck? I see you stepping into a complete boss mode energy. Um, the rest of this week, you're going through a complete metamorphosis in this week, literally, as you improvise. It's like the butterfly effect, you know? This is the present now, but that's it. The timeline is changing this week really fast. You're going to remember me saying that. The timeline is changing this week, the moment that you watch this, so fast. It's literally like from the bottom to the top. You're going to go from the bottom to the top. From the bottom to the top. You're going to have so much control by the end of this week. Today is Monday. You're either watching this Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So it's going to hit you a week. Literally. I'm done. We needed this. We needed this. And that's the thing. Like, when you go through things, that's what's going to prove how you're the magician. So emotionally, you're going to open those portals. So you need to feel good to be happy so you can open that portal for yourself. You see it? After you reopen that portal for yourself based off your positive energy and your emotions, you're going to jump through full force. You know, we're going to jump through full force and we're going to make sure that it's 10 times better than what it is right now. Because what the fuck? They will never, you know, shoot darts at our wheels again, Mario Kart. Please watch the Mario Kart reading. Mario, right now it's time for you to speed the fuck up. It's like you slow down and you help the motherfucker and then you crash when you had the exit just for you. 
you had the exit just for you and you crashed. You could have still been in the race. You could have got first place. You, you could have got a million dollars grand prize. But guess what? Now you don't crash. You have to recuperate a little bit. I see you did that. And now it's time to get back on the road.